Hello everyone, I'm Ewan from Gamma Sports. And I'm Chuck from Gamma Sports. I'm the Director of Product Marketing. Today, Chuck is going to be walking us through how to regrip your tennis racket. The first thing you want to do is take off the oil grip. As you can see, this is well worn, it's dirty, it's time to go. So I'm going to start by pulling off the grip band. Get this tape off here. As you can see, it comes off very easily. It's, it's a foam pallet underneath. It gives you the, the shape of the grip, the bevels. And do you need to worry about any of that tape residue that's on those pallets there? No, actually, it will pull a little bit of that off. You can get rid of this. We don't need this anymore, obviously. I'll pull a little bit off around the butt cap just to clean it off. As I said, we're going to use a replacement grip today. We're going to use the Gamma High Tech Grip. It's a nice smooth grip. It's very tacky. First thing I do after I take it out of the package, I want to take off this grip finishing tape. We'll need that at the very end. So what I like to do is I like to have it ready. So I'll pull off the, the backing. I'll just stick this right on the table right here. It's ready to go when I need it. Next, I'll just pull the cellophane off here. Notice the two ends, the one end is tapered. That's the end we'll start with. So I'm going to pull off the release paper so that I have the double face tape. That'll help stick it to the racket pallet. Again, I take the tapered end and I want to hold it right here flush against the edge of the butt cap, just so it's even with the bottom. While I hold that with my left thumb, I'm going to pull this around so that I meet tapered end and that's where I start to overlap. Now I pull tight as I go, depending on how much you want to feel the bevels, you want to pull that a little bit tighter. These grips are tapered with what we call a skiving. And what that does, that tapers it down to a thin edge so that it'll lay nice and seamless across itself as we wrap around the handle. So will that make it pretty easy for someone to get a nice consistent overlapping across the grip? Yeah, you can see it's almost seamless here because it just fits so nicely overlapping. You want to overlap a little bit because you don't want it to separate while you play. Right. A lot of players move the racket a lot in their hands, yeah. whether going to forehand or backhand or just fidgeting, they always twirl in the racket. So you don't want that to separate while you're in play. So I overlap it a little bit. And when I get to the top, you see I have excess here, so I need to cut that. I want to cut it at such an angle where it's a nice clean finish. So I've marked the end where my thumb is, and what I do is I'll bring this out here and I'll hold that. And I'll take the scissors and I want to cut from the bottom to the top, and I'll, like a 45 degree angle. I just want to go like this. That way when I wrap this around, that'll give me a nice clean edge at the very top of the racket, as you can see. And I take my tape that I set aside I want to set that right there as I hold with my thumb. I just wrap around, holding the grip on. There, I just nice finish, nice clean feel. That didn't good. take very long. No. And that feels really nice in my hand right there. Nice and solid, tacky. Right. As you notice, this is the exact grip size. It's four and three eighths, just as it tends okay. to. That's the measurement on the racket. So, nice, good feel. Well, a lot of players these days like to put overgrips on their rackets. Yes. So, is it a similar process if you want to use an overgrip? It's very similar. You start at the bottom, they're tapered end, wrap it up the top, and you seal it with tape. The only difference is since an overgrip is something that you want to be able to remove, whether it's during a changeover or in between matches, it's much easier to do. So, an overwrap comes freely off the original grip, off the replacement grip. So, if you're ever having issues with your grip or it's slipping in your hand, you maybe it's a hot day and you're really sweaty, the overgrip is going to be the first thing that you need to remove. It's very easy to use, and I'll show you. We'll put one on right now. What I'm going to do is I have the Supreme Overgrip. Again, very similar. I get the tape ready for the final installation. I say I like to have that ready. It makes it a lot easier. This grip will have a protective cellophane on it so it doesn't stick to itself during packaging. So it's because it is very tacky. There's a little tab here that helps you grab that cellophane so you can pull it right away from the grip. Very simple. You can see it stick to itself. You can feel how tacky that is. Pretty it's sticky. not very thick, so it's not going to build the grip up too much. Yeah. Now I pull this little tab off here so I can have a little sticky point to start the grip. I'm going to put this right again on the edge of the butt cap, as you can see here. Yeah. I like a nice clean look and I like to make sure there's no 
puckering or bubbling in the grip. So I will pull it tight as I go. In this case, I'm overwrapping just enough because I don't want it to separate while play. As you know, playing, you move your racket grip from forehand to backhand or you spin the racket constantly. You don't want it to separate. You have some options with an overgrip. You can wrap it a little thicker so you can build up the grip a little bit. Or if you're just more worried about moisture absorption and you want to be able to have a nice firm grip, you don't have to overlap it as much. Yeah. If you're a left-handed player, are you going to re-grip your racket the same way, or is there, do you go maybe the opposite way if you're a left-handed? If you're a left-handed player, instead of me pulling from left to right, I would be pull right to left because the way you turn in your hand, the wrap would be going with your hand, okay. and that way it would less chance of it separating as well. Being right-handed, though, we're going to go from the left to right side. Finish this all the way up at the top. It's nice and long, two-handed rackets. For, you know, the grips are longer these days for most people are two-handed players. And it doesn't look like you need to, to cut the strip at the no, end either. this is tapered at both ends, and with this handle being this length, it's just a perfect finish. So I just set this on top. And you can tell this feels really fresh, and you can tell how tacky that feels, so how that would grab your hand on a nice hot day. Yeah. Really. Ready to play, yeah. That feels good. Well, thanks a lot, Chuck, for showing us how to regrip your tennis racket. It was some great information. You're welcome, Ewan. No problem. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like if uh, you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Gamma Sports content.